This video will demonstrate how to add images to your drawings within LiveCount. To begin, you must first be on the drawing canvas and then click the Add Image button. Please note that if you have not associated your current Live Count job with a Trimble Connect project, you will be asked to do so before you can select a file. A dialog will be shown which will allow you to select an existing project or create a new one. As I have previously done so, I'm going to go ahead and select the image I wish to add and then click Open. The image is added to the drawing and on selection of the image, you can resize it, move it, and rotate it as needed. For every image you add to your drawing, it will also be synced to the Trimble Connect project. If we look at the Document Manager, we will see that a new folder has been created called Images, and the image that I inserted to the drawing is present. Moving back to the takeoff canvas, I can also add images to the drawing which reside on the Windows clipboard. For example, I use the snipping tool to capture a piece of a drawing. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard and then using the paste shortcut key, in my case control V, I can insert the image from the clipboard to my live count drawing. Again, I can move it, resize it, and rotate it as desired. Additionally, you can right-click the images that you add and delete them, lock them, or send them forwards or backwards based on your needs. Going back to the Document Manager and into the Images folder, if an image that resides on your drawing and is also present in Trimble Connect is deleted from Trimble Connect, on return to the takeoff canvas and after a period of time, you will see placeholder images to indicate that the image no longer exists within Trimble Connect. As I mentioned, this does take some time for it to refresh. However, I'm going to perform a manual refresh to display the placeholders. Okay, as you can see here, no image available. This does indicate that the image has been deleted from Trimble Connect. 